Hello everybody, it's me, Aiden RP. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna be basically showing you how to fly, well, not how to fly a plane, but in this series I'm going to be showing you that. But this is um, a flight sim, specifically in my case, the Logic Tech, blah, 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 the Logic Tech flight sim. I'm sorry for the banging and talking in the background, but this is my house, so what can you expect? If you can even hear it, I'm not sure. Yeah. But I will give you a quick look of it now. So at first here, once I get on here, we have the rudder pedals and we have the yoke system with throttle. We also um, have our laptop. So we have our brakes. Down. I'm just gonna be showing you how this stuff, like what it does. Basically all these buttons, all that, throttle systems. Um, yeah, all that stuff, that's just loosening and tightening, but I'll get into all that. Other videos are going to be how to fly. It's gonna be a flight training series. Now, you might be wondering, like, how am I certified to be doing, like, flight training? Just trust me on this. I have flown, flown, flown. Okay, let's get a slow-mo re replay that. Cessna 152, one when I was 10, a uh, Piper Cub, and third one, a Cherokee Grand, no, not, what, what, am, am I saying cars now? No. Um, it was a Piper, Piper Cherokee, Piper Cherokee Archer, something like that. And, yeah. I flew for a while in those. So, you can trust me. But I do have to say, the actual plane is pretty different from a flight sim. And if you don't know what I mean by sim, I mean simulator. Yeah. So the computer I use for this, the laptop, I don't know the brand, but it's a specific like gaming. I'll show you here. It's like, I don't, I don't know what it is, but the symbol's up here somewhere. It'll show up when I turn the screen on here. Um, When you do that, once this turns on, um, these lights should turn on and that turns on. This is like Republic of Gamers or something. So it shows the time, it's kind of hard to see. It's in military time. Then you push function and it's a stopwatch here. Let's keep it on there. So here we go. Sorry, it's a little bit blurry here. That's a bit better, okay. That was a cool galaxy background thing. So this light will be on. That light is on, that light is on. Now we gotta wait for that to turn on. Okay, so you know what the hat switch. Now, when you start off, this button back here is gonna be brakes, but once you take it off and move it to the, whoa, sorry. When you take it off and move it to the rudder pedals, that's, um, then those become the brakes on the top there, instead of that. But, so you know what the hat switch does, so you like, Moving around. So if we go to the outside view here, and I'm gonna show you like what, basically what like the pulling stuff does. Like you'll see like it go push and that stuff. Now, so the ailment, I'll start. Oop, sorry. See that, that um, is. See like, listen. I don't know if you can hear it that bell, but that's like taxi clearance. I'm not gonna get into that in this video. Okay, so pulling back will go up. See, I'll show you. You'll see these back things here. They're called the elevators. When you pull back, which is going up, so going like that, pulling backwards, you'll see that these go up. And the air is going to hit those. Um, here, I'll see if I can hold it. <clears throat> Um, don't worry about the ailerons, but the air is going to come into hitting those um, things faced up, and it's going to push the tail down, pushing the nose up like this, and that will cause it to go up. And I will get into this aerodynamic stuff later, as along with the throttle and like how to use it when you're going up, but that'll be an aerodynamics video, but still, once again, in this series. So down is just the opposite. You push it in. See? 
this will go down you see the air hits it and it pushes the nose down and it pushes the tail up which pushes the nose down just like that and that will cause it to go down and that's when you would ease your throttle back you're technically supposed to have your throttle at full when you're climbing but that depends on if you're like landing or if you're taking off okay so now the ailerons so if we go up here get an up view actually i'll go this way just wait a second so if we go around here so you'll see this way you might be able to see the shadow it's probably easier going down so if we come around here you'll see when you turn if I, i'm turning left that side is going to go up as you can see right there it's facing up meaning the other side is going down so basically the opposite way you turn the so if you turn right then the left side's gonna go down and if you turn because like say i'm turning left here that's gonna go up pushing the air down on on the other side and pushing it um i mean pushing it up on that side and down on this side because making the wing come up and turning like that and then the other wing coming down and then the air rushing on it makes it bank then you'd be using stuff like the rudder pedals and that and yeah uh, again i'll get into that this is the trim which is this so when you go down that is up trim and if you see if i hold this down you see those things will come down there making that the trim so then if i go up down trim they come up that's pretty self-explanatory that's up trim it's basically the opposite but that's up and then go pushing it up is down now this is going to be your flaps um this button right here so you'll see down is up again it's like one of the weird things again so if i come around here sorry you'll see that the flaps that flaps when i push them up will start to come down that's the first notch i pushed it once now flaps allow you to fly at um slower speed sorry i'll stabilize you there that's second notch and that's third notch i believe that's as far as it goes but that's gonna angle you down but not it won't really make you go down if you know what i mean but that's it then this would be landing gear so you know you all know what that is um the I'm pretty sure right goes up and left goes down. But I'll have to clarify that in a different video. I won't be able to use this plane. This is the Cessna series, so I'm just using a Cessna and a Skyhawk or a 172. They're basically the same thing. Their landing gear does not come up, so I won't be able to clarify that immediately. I'm also going to do another series. Um, just a little notice for that. It's probably going to be... I don't know what I'll call it. It's just going to be with the fighter jet. Probably, I'll, I'll probably just call it Air Force Academy. <laughs> no, or Naval Academy. I'm, I'll just call it... I, I'm i not even going to tell you because I don't know yet. <laughs> so yeah, I can't tell you if I don't know yet. So let's just keep going with this video. Okay, so if you don't have rudder pedals, then there's not any way to taxi because you can't move the rudder. And I'll show you what that does in here. Because with taxiing, in the sky, it makes you yaw. So just go sideways without actually like turning. So it's just like, you know, like the cartoon, just like side to side. Um, and that's done like this. I'll show you what it is on the screen. See, if you look at this like tail coming up here. So if I go say right here, it's going to go right. So like it'll turn, like if it's gonna, if you want to turn right, so going that way, then it's going to go right. It's going to use its hinges to go right. And if you want to go left, you'll see it'll turn left like that. If you guys are wondering what this knob is, this increases like the, so right now, I know how hard it is. So if I go a lot harder, that's way harder. So if I go like that, then this should be good. Now I just need to find where I had it. So now I'm gonna go over these things. Um, Right now at the moment, I don't have these buttons doing anything, but you can change that in the simulator game and stuff. So yeah, so as you probably already know, um, I don't know why it just has this extra space here, but this is still zero. So this is the throttle. 
goes, it has a line at zero, on like below zero, zero, 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100 So quarters, again, same thing, zero, 25, 50, 75, 100, and then the same for Aaron stuff. So this is, you. All, we all know what throttle does, you know, it makes you go faster or slower. So, so you know, faster, slower, you know, you don't want to go, you only you want to usually go slower, not even that fast sometimes. In a Cessna, you're probably just going to go, wait at 50, stop 75, jam 100, and then you'll be lifting off. In a fighter jet, you only need to go to about like 50% because, you know, it's a fighter jet. And takeoff speed is 140, so I mean like, it'll be 140 in no time. Next is how much air um, comes in the propellers here. So again, I don't have this locked in, but zero, you know, 25. So basically, this is just taking in more air. So it could make the propeller spin faster, but you don't want to have it at 100% for too long or else it'll go too fast and you don't want to know what happens after that. If it's spinning too fast, bye-bye goes the propeller, falls to the ground without the plane, and you crash. Sounds fun, right? So this is the mixture. This is just um, oil richness. So this is fully richness, full of fully richness. This is fully rich, and then this will come down, and it's less rich. That's pretty self-explanatory. And then we have a mouse and its port right here. That was completely unnecessary. Right here, this is the function button where it goes to like that. Then it has the function, then it has hours, minutes, seconds, and start stop for stopwatch, and then reset for stopwatch. So that is it for all the, basically, functions of the Logitech Flight Sim, or simulator. But thank you all so much for watching, and make sure to go check out the description below, as well as subscribe, and give this video a big like, because if you like and subscribe, then you can join the Aiden RP fam, and the Aiden RP fam is the best fan too. <gasps> the end. So, subscribe. I'll see you later. Check out the description, and subscribe.